I'm Jerry Fink with Helping Seniors of Brevard, and it's time for Helping Seniors Update. Today is Monday, and it's the 11th of May, and I hope you've had a good, safe, and enjoyable and pleasant weekend, and looking forward to a good, safe, and pleasant and enjoyable week ahead. Uh, and on behalf of Joe Steckler and the entire Helping Seniors team, we appreciate you tuning into these updates where our effort is to keep you uh, informed about things that are going on around our county so that you can keep up, especially now that we're in this phase one reopening and things are, are slowly moving back to, uh, to an open, open event, but we still want to take all the precautions and be safe. So today, our guest is none other than retirement expert August Velton from August H. Velton and Associates, a longtime friend of Joe's and the entire Helping Seniors Organization. How are you doing today, August? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm sitting here in my office. I'm not, I'm on virtual, but I'm in my office. That's good. Well, that's always the first question I ask uh, as we've talked to various people that are connected to Helping Seniors is, are you guys open for business and how are things different than before COVID-19? Sure. Well, we're leaving it up to the person or the people. If they want to come in, we've got our, our office set up in such a way that we have that social distancing set up, et cetera. But uh, we've also set up so that we can do uh, virtual Zoom meetings. They can be in their home. We can be in the office or I could be at my home and they're in their, their home, whatever they want to do. Uh, and we've also set up our, our seminars that we normally do at Florida Tech and the Government Center are now online. We're going to be doing them virtually. In fact, mm -hmm. I'll give you some dates today. Good. Uh, they're going to be cut down versions because the, the class at Florida Tech and Government Center were uh, two hours or two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's just a little bit long for a virtual type seminar. So we're going to run about 45 minutes on those approximately. And uh, we, have, we have three dates coming up actually that uh, uh, I can give you today. Good. Uh, people want to you know, register. They can call in and go on uh, the website and go to Facebook and register. Uh, the first one's next Tuesday, the 19th. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the okay. evening. Okay, it's about an hour. And then the next one is going to be Saturday morning, 10 a.m. So an hour, 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. That's the May 23rd. And the next one is the following Tuesday, 526, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. again. So people can just simply register for that. The reason we want them to register, none, a number of things, but we're going to try and get material to these people so that if they're going to be students, they'll have some uh, uh, some uh, workbooks and uh, handouts in front of them while mm -hmm. we go through the uh, through the class. We're pushing ahead and uh, trying to get things as, uh, set up as best we can, as, as uh, professionally as we can. Oh, that, that's good. And I was going to make the comment that uh, for those of you that may not be familiar, August for quite a bit of time has created um, these uh, working together with the AFES, which is the Adult Financial Educational Services. Am I saying say correct. that correct? correct. It's, a, it's a nonprofit correct. organization and you've helped uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people who've attended these classes get a handle because most of us don't understand that there's a big difference between what I would call financial planning, uh, you know, in a traditional sense, and then what you've sure. really expertise in of retirement planning and making sure we don't make big mistakes. In fact, I'm recalling a TV show that we just did about social security planning and people make these mistakes. And I remember in one instance, you were talking about over a lifetime, that one simple mischoice could cost somebody literally a quarter of a million dollars. Exactly, about $250,000 uh, uh, over their retirement years. And that's a, that's a lot of money. It is. Especially since it's a tax advantage dollars. Right. Uh, Social Security benefits are not fully taxed. They're only partially taxed. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, of course, are annoyed that they're taxed at all. <laughs> but, uh, but, but they are taxed, and, but they're taxed in a, uh, in a uh, favorable way. And there's ways of setting up your programs, retirement programs, to take advantage of that and pay less taxes in retirement. Uh, yeah, so that's you know some of the stuff we would talk about during these seminars, mm -hmm. how to set up Social Security, the you know the negative of taking it early, mm -hmm. and the negative of maybe waiting. I mean, there's always you know, what do I give up? What do I get? Mm -hmm. You know, is that do I lose the opportunity or risk opportunity in a sense uh, by not taking it earlier than that? But if we understand what taxation may be in the future, and how the taxation of Social Security works along with your other assets 
it, uh, it just, it, it, you need to be informed, let's put it that way. And I'll be more than happy to uh, help anybody that wants some help. And that really makes sense. So what to get enrolled in the class or to make sure, and again, it's, it's, uh, it's a free of charge thing, but I think it, it really gives you a chance to evaluate uh, and get a place to start with your own financial picture and just make sure that things are moving in the right direction on that. How do people sign up? What's the phone number or is there uh, an email well, yeah, address? They can call the office number 321-622-5418. They can go to uh, augusthvelton.com, which is uh, my website, or they can go to my email, a, as an apple, velton, V-E-L-T-E-N-C-L-U, at cfl.r.com. Any of those places, uh, I think the easiest and most uh, direct way would be to call that office number, and somebody here in the office will make sure that they are registered, and uh, we need to know people are registered uh, so that we can get the materials, et cetera, to them. Okay, and that number again? 321-622-5418. And viewer, I wanna suggest that you take a look at the Helping Seniors YouTube page. There is a lot of great resources uh, from television programs on Helping Seniors TV that's available on demand there. Uh, with August Velton, and he, we've covered everything, right? You talk about the uh, implications of the SECURE Act. Uh, we talked about uh, what's going on with Social Security. Uh, we've talked about uh, th the difference between IRA Roths and Roth IRAs and regular IRAs. And I mean, there is a wealth of information that people should really take advantage of. And maybe that's good setup even as they come into the class. Absolutely. Uh the more you know about the, about the pieces and how they fit together in retirement, the better decisions you'll make. Uh, you know, this COVID-19 uh, has really, uh, for, first of all, a lot of people started panicking, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, what am I going to do? I'm losing my retirement dollars, et cetera, et cetera. So we talk a lot about volatility, how to put the pieces together, about protection. In fact, one of the things that I'm pushing right now, a very simple comment, is the value of safety. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. It's a very important term, the value of safety. And uh, so it's a matter of how to, where I'm going to be invested, et cetera, understanding your risk tolerance and uh, uh, how long that money is going to last, which of course is longevity. Uh, so COVID really has, you know, people started to forget about 2008, 2009 when the market tanked, right? Short memory, so to speak. Uh, and here we are again. And probably in the future, we're going to have something else happen. Something that just like this, This we, we were blindsided by this. Mm -hmm. I'm not so concerned about the normal workings of the market. I'm concerned about just what happened now. The more people live on this world and the more things are going on, the more chance we have of being blindsided by something that's going to affect our assets, et cetera. So you, people have to put priorities in order, you know, longevity, do I want to leave a legacy? Uh, what are my taxes going to be? You know, right now, just to give you an example, a, a very important concept we have to deal with is that we have this stimulus package right now. Right. And it's, it's really probably saving the economy and saving a lot of people, you know, from going bankrupt, et cetera. However, who's going to pay for that in the future? Right. We are. All right, our taxes are going to be higher. I, I, I've always said taxes are going to be higher mm -hmm. in the future than they are right now. They're the lowest they've been for, for years and years and years, more than likely after 2025, which is when the legislation is up on the current tax plan, that our, our taxes are going to go up. And probably I'm pretty confident in saying that they're going to go up more than I thought they were going to go up uh, right. now that we have the stimulus package because somebody has to pay the debt. And it's the American taxpayer that pays the debt. So we have to be tax efficient. We have to understand where our income is going to come from. And we also want to know that we have enough each month to pay our bills without worrying how we're going to pay our bills the following month. Right. That, such good and important, uh, important things to know about. And also, I want to remind you, viewer, that if you go to the Helping Seniors Facebook page, we have put a link there uh, to the classes that uh, August and his team are presenting uh, both, uh, again, those dates are the first ones coming up. You said Tuesday, the 19th, right? 19th, 7 to 8 PM, 523, 10 AM, 526, the following Tuesday, 526, 7 PM to 8 PM. Good. Well, 
And just a, a kind of a question as we kind of draw to a close on helping seniors updates. And then I have one or two quick things I want to share with our viewers just in general, because we're always on the lookout for information specifically available to people in Brevard County as we try to navigate our way through COVID-19. But the question that I wanted to, to ask to you was, do you have any, or as you've been uh, moving through all these things, is there any specific tips or advice or things that make sense to share with you as a helping seniors updates about getting through this whole thing? Well, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, everybody's a little different. Everybody has reacted differently. But one of the things that I would say right now is in general, stay the course if you have a plan. Don't don't get sidetracked uh, too far off the uh, the rails, so to speak, because uh, you know. Granted, we just we've gone through a rough time. Uh, I'm I'm going to be optimistic about the future, right? But you you can't. We don't want to try and time the market. We don't want to try and jump right. in and jump out. All right, you have to be, but you may want to be in the market, but in maybe a more conservative portfolio. Mm -hmm. If you leave the market, you're going to miss a lot of growth. I'll give you a very specific example. Mm -hmm. The Dow almost went down to 18,000 and it had been at 29,000. Right. Three days, it went up 5,000 points. Right. If you were not in the market, if you had jumped out panicking, you would have missed getting back a chunk of, uh, of, your, of your money. Right. So you just have to be aware of when you're going to be using those assets. In other words, are you going to use them next year or five years from now or right. tomorrow? All right. And that will determine where do I have to be in, in a risk tolerance curve, so to speak, right. what kind of what kind of portfolios have to be. But, but right now, I would say, you know, basically, if you have a plan, stay the course, but don't make rash decisions. And to be very blunt, I'll help anybody that wants to. Just just call me. Call the office number that I've already given you, uh, whether it's for a virtual seminar or not. You know, you can make an appointment either. It would be a virtual appointment, okay, through Zoom, or coming in here. Again, we're social distancing. You know, about six to eight feet from from people I, I deal with. We've actually had two conference tables put together. Good. So we have the distancing. We have Purell at the front door. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, to come in and sit down and uh, go through what your concerns might be. And that could be something to do with Medicare. It could be something to do with supplemental plans for Medicare. It could be do with taxation. It could be to do with annuities or the market or whatever. But I'm, I'm here to help. And, uh, you know, I have no problem with that. And I do not charge for that for those sessions. Yeah, very, very important point. Please, uh, viewer, take advantage of uh, August's expertise in this. And again, invite you to check out the resources on the Helping Seniors YouTube page, the Helping Seniors website. All these, all you have to do is go to either of those pages and type in August Velton, and you'll see all those resources pop up. Uh, one thing I do want to share before we close out today, Lois Thomas and our friends over at um, the uh, Career Source Brevard. Uh, are offering a couple of uh, free virtual workshops and career coaching things, particularly, uh, they say, if you have the experience, now regain the confidence. These are specifically part of AARP's Back to Work 50 Plus program, and maybe this is an important thing to think about uh, during this time. Uh, they have a Seven Smart Strategies workshop. It's available uh, actually coming up Wednesday. That's the only time I'm familiar with it, but it's 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon. And we're going to put this information as we do all the Helping Seniors Updates information at helpingseniorsupdates.com, helpingseniorsupdates.com. So we'll post that, including the phone number so that you could register for that Back to Work 50 Plus program. But in all cases, uh, if you are anywhere near retirement age, or maybe even not, it makes really strong sense to take advantage of, the, uh, of these uh, course seminars that are coming up that August Velton has uh, about social security planning. You do not want to make a mistake of the kind of magnitude that's possible with this. So please get involved in that. And uh, August, so, any Kerry, final got, parting thoughts? Yeah, yeah, Kerry, I have one more comment I think that's to sure. me is important. You know, we've had an awful lot of people that you know, stay, stay at home and et cetera, et cetera, and they're, they're not going to work and they're working out of the house or they're retired and they're afraid to leave their house. I will tell you that I thought about this and, I, and it really, made me think a lot about it. This is a time to make a, a positive out of a negative. And what do I mean by that? Right now, you can say, you know what? Why don't I take this opportunity to better my life by 
improving my health by walking or exercising, by adjusting my diet, making it a project during this uh, this time instead of, well, you know, here's my excuse to eat more potato chips and, uh, <laughs> and Cheez-Its and whatever, right? And drink a little bit more or whatever. Get out there, exercise, do stuff you haven't done before. Uh, you have the time and I guarantee you that after about three or four weeks of doing that, you're going to be surprised. Amen. That's good advice too. Well, thank you, August, for being part of this today. And thank you, viewer, for tuning in to Helping Seniors Updates. We'll see you again on Wednesday, keeping you up to speed on all the things that are going on for Helping Seniors around Brevard. Remember, the car raffle is still on. Uh, our president, Joe Steckler, is working with Mark Pylock. They're still trying to pin down uh, the date, but it is coming. And so ticket sales remain open at helpingseniorscarraffle.com. It's a great way to support the work of helping seniors. And August, you know, because you've been there. That's a fun yep, event. We're I love it. Looking forward to it when they open us back up for that. So okay. thanks again, and we'll see you on Wednesday.